My name is uh, Eric Getches, and uh, I moved here to Las Vegas in 2000. And I moved here as a, as a sculptor, a non-figurative sculpt, sculptor. But the, long, the more time I spent in Las Vegas, the more um, my sculpture had a hard time sort of competing with the, uh, the, the buzz of, of casinos, the, the flashing lights and the noises. And um, I saw a show at the Guggenheim Hermitage that had a Quintormo painting, a Madonna and Child painting. There's something about that painting that was really able to just cut through all the distractions of Las Vegas. And it showed me something that I needed in my own work. And I, at that point, switched to figurative painting to try to more directly access meaning and make my um, work more accessible. I use my wife and kids as models. and. Uh, um, this is my first show here in Las Vegas. Vegas I wasn't religious. There's something about being in Las Vegas, I became religious and there's a lot of religious themes in the painting. I, I think there's something about becoming religious that was a prerequisite for me becoming a uh, figurative painter because as a, as a non-figurative sculptor, I saw sculpture as a way of trying to pursue timeless truths and uh, timeless truths about the fact that we're objects, you know, people with bodies, are, we're objects and as objects interacting with other objects. And in this pursuit of timeless truth, the, the human figure seemed very, un, not timeless, it, it seemed very weak, um, tangled up with uh, all the random, um, random aspects of culture, the, the, the timeliness of fashion, and, um, and that seemed like a huge distraction. Um, something about becoming religious made the, the human nature seem much more timeless more something there's something um, about it that, that you know it's always been like the way it is now and it always will be like that that was I think a prerequisite for, for becoming for me becoming a figurative painter I mainly just paint the landscape in Tokyo. It's based on my personal experience when I was in, living in Tokyo for a year. It's based on the fact that Japanese people do not talk to strangers in Japan, like in, in the public place. So people never communicate in the public place. So I kind of feel lonely, like nobody knows me, I don't know anybody. I start looking at myself objectively, so um, this is about that. So the reason why I use blue is that to make the filter between the station and myself and also my painting or my memory and myself the same. I kind of want each viewer to have their own interpretation about the, my painting. So, you know, maybe some for some people it's kind of sad, for some people it's kind of relaxing. So it's totally up to the viewers. Mm -hmm. 